discovered and other members discovered on the audit committee in terms of uh, Tower Hamlet's council uh, because it, that it did come up in the discussion. So, Andrew, I just want to go over to you. In one of the tweets uh, you did from the audit committee, you mentioned the housing waiting list. So, sort of, it, it's, it's, it's a bit like um, the Chicago uh, election <laughs> election role in the sense that we've got, we, we discovered that there were people there on the waiting list who have actually passed away. Um, so we, we, we always get this number of 20,000 or 19,000 families on the waiting list. But what happened, was they did a bit of a deep dive into this waiting list and it discovered that um, some people uh, are no longer here with us and other people have moved out of Tower Hamlets. So they no longer qualify to be housed in Tower Hamlets. So they looked at 20 application, live applications from people on the housing register who were aged between 80 and 103 years old. And they found that of that, those 20 people, five of them had actually moved away from Tower Hamlets at some point in the past. And we just hadn't picked that up. Uh, and 11 had unfortunately died. But the last time they sort of checked this group of people was back in 2014. So they haven't checked, you know, whether people had died in seven years. And one of the things they did say in the meeting is that they would uh, they would restart sort of checking whether any of those 19,000 people had died. But, but they were